Excerpts from Passages About Earth by William Irwin Thompson. If we take all the variants of this planetary mythology and try to sort out the information from the noise, we come up with four propositions of a new worldview. Number one, there is intelligent life in the universe beyond Earth. Number two, the meeting we are expecting in front of us in linear time has already occurred, is now occurring, and will continue to occur. The gods do not talk to us, they play through us with our history. Number three, there is more to our history than the meager record of 6,000 years. Our religious myths are the detritus of the lost history of the earth. Our subjective objective distinctions about reality are incorrect. As in the worldview of the Hopi Indians, matter, energy, and consciousness form a continuum. If one considers all the propositions of this planetary romanticism to be false, he can at least still take them seriously. At the very least, they can be seen as projections and caricatures of the large cultural shifts now occurring. Which of us has the power and mobility to go into all the laboratories, multinational corporation boardrooms, and governmental cabinets to find out what is really going on on this planet? What the individual conscious ego does not know, however, does not limit the collective unconscious of mankind. I'm gonna say that again. What the individual conscious ego does not know, however, does not limit the collective unconscious of mankind. And so one can make some intelligent guesses by paying attention to the seemingly unrelated works of art and mythologies at large.